Well, I've been hiking for about 30 minutes or so here. Um, doing a little mushroom hunt today, this evening. Just a little short one. Um, my buddy, I recommended that I come up to this spot here and uh, finally just popped up on, I think they're called chanterelles. I can't remember exactly how you pronounce it. Those be them. And they're pretty identifiable. They're almost orange in color and they have these orange gills on the bottom. They're super yummy. And they grow in these little patches like that. So we're gonna snag them up and have a delicious meal later. The weekend before, this one was the first um, mushroom hunt that I'd ever really been on. Never really tried to find them, but this year's been really good here in Colorado for them. It's super fun, actually. And they're quite delicious. They go very well with an elk steak, so... I'm not doing the best job of keeping these clean, but that's okay. Oh, going to be so yummy. Cool. It's been pretty wet this year in the mountains, and the mushrooms have just been going crazy here this year, so. Picked a good year to get into it, I think, although maybe you can make the opposite argument that I picked a bad year, because now my expectations are going to be very high, which might be disappointing in the future, but that's okay. Oh, look at all of them. Nice. Those ones are just getting, I think, a little bit past their prime. Maybe we'll leave those. These are perfect. Nice. That's the cool thing about these ones is they kind of grow in these patches. So when you find one, you find a bunch and then you're good to go. And when you cook them, they kind of shrink up pretty good. So it's good to grab a whole bunch of them. Just a couple of these because I think a couple of them are getting to be a little bit past their prime. Kind of drying out. Let's see. Oh, those feel okay. Nice. Look at all that so far. I was actually just starting to wonder if I wasn't going to find any. All the mushrooms that I was finding up here were kind of all looking old and not looking too great. So I was starting to wonder if maybe they were all, if the season was kind of running out. But looks like we struck a little bit of gold there. Let's see if we can find some more. I'll turn you on if I find some more. Uh, it's been about a whole five minutes since I found my last patch, and look at all these. These look great. I never, to be honest with you, was really a super big fan of eating mushrooms. I've never been really into them until recently, until learning to pick my own and sauteing them in a bunch of butter and oil with some yummy spices i'm learning to learning to love them so it's pretty sweet those are a little dried out um i mean what i really like about it i love any sort of treasure hunt i mean i love shed hunting and just hiking in general but i love kind of going out and finding things and cool thing about this is it's one more thing that I'm learning how to go get myself and 
I know where it comes from and I know what I'm putting into my body. It's coming right from the earth, which is pretty sweet. So obviously, at least as far as red meat goes, I harvest my own red meat. Never have to buy a red meat from the grocery store. And working on, I've got a gr greenhouse that's about halfway done that I've been slacking on really bad. But um, once I finish that, hopefully I can start growing some of my own vegetables, some onions and peppers and garlic and all that cool stuff. Potatoes, hopefully. Um, and again, that's just one more thing that I'm kind of learning to do myself. Ooh, that's a big patch of them. I'm a little behind the behind the game as far as diet and just kind of cleaning that up and really harvesting a lot more of my own or sourcing a lot more of my own food. I wish I was better at that, but there's only one way to get better and that's to do it, right? So I am really quite enjoying the mushroom hunting and the nice thing about this little hobby is unlike most hobbies this one's basically free right you need a grocery sack pay a few bucks in gas money to get where you're going and other than that we're just stomping around looking for mushrooms so maybe my bone right here maybe nope you can see oh that looks like is that a porcini are you good? Mm, that is a porcini, but doesn't look to be good. Bummer. I've got three species of mushrooms now that I know that I can identify them, but it's all you got to do is start somewhere. Um, my other couple friends are the ones that got me into it, and. Um, that was, I mean, that's basically what they've been doing is just kind of educating themselves and then you just start with a couple species at a time that you recognize and know for sure that what you're grabbing is what you're grabbing and build from there, right? All you got to do is get started with it. Um, super fun though. I really actually am enjoying it. And the best part about it is, of course, you got to take home your product and munch it. Well, hopefully we can find one more patch of them. I think if I find one more patch tonight, we'll call that good. It's really not a far drive up here, but I just wanted to get out for a little bit and see if I couldn't get into something. I kind of needed to get out of the house, and there's a couple right here, but not many. kind of wanted to get out of the house and I've been super irritable today. I don't know why. It's kind of weird, but um, being out in the woods even for an hour does seem to kind of reset that a little bit. So can't complain, right? All right, see you in a bit. I was right over there, like literally when I found that last patch and I just ch -ch -ch walked right here and then discovered the first ones over there and then hopped over this log and here are the others. So we're gonna snag them. Ugh. Yummy. So I like to, when I make them, I, like I said, I saute them. So usually what I've been doing is bow out some deer, some elk steak, and then I put a bunch of butter and oil in the pan. Um, and I do like, I chop up a bunch of garlic too, and then I do garlic, salt, uh, pepper. Um, like I do some um, seasonings like uh, dill weed and thyme, maybe a little bit of oregano, kind of stuff like that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, and what I've been doing is just sauteing the, the mushrooms first, and then I'll kind of put maybe a little bit more seasoning in the pan and throw the steaks in. And, sear them real quick and that's been a super yummy meal and that's a meal that's totally 100 percent harvested by me which is kind of cool i think nice 
these. These are great. We're going to need a little cleaning up. Well, that's a pretty good amount of mushrooms. More than I'm gonna be able to eat before they go bad, so we'll hand some of them out. So I'm gonna start heading back to the truck. If I find some on the way back, I'll probably snag them real quick, but like I said, only been walking for maybe an hour or so, so just a short little hike tonight, but it's pretty cool to be able to do a quick little hike like that and find some delicious dinner, so. All right, well, whoops, almost fell off that log. If I find one more patch, I might turn you guys on. Maybe not, we'll see. But um, either way, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to make a super quick video tonight and share the experience. I've been really enjoying the mushroom hunting, so definitely uh, don't be afraid to kind of learn a little bit yourself if you've maybe thought about it and just been kind of nervous. It's really not that big a deal. Um, just learn like two species that you might be able to find and make sure you're pretty much that they're pretty much unmistakable and there's certain ones that are like these ones that are um, very easy to identify and get out there get some feet on the ground and snatch them up catch you later